Okay, so I had a question to in an email if I could make a chart on Onsong from scratch. So we're gonna open up Onsong and um, let's go to all songs at the bottom and we're gonna press the plus sign. In the plus sign, it says add new song. We're going to add a new song, and I happen to have a song there already, and uh, I'm just going to select it all. And you may have nothing there. If you have something there, I'm just going to cut it, whatever. And um, over here, you have your title. Let's do back to that and let's let's say we're gonna do a easy song. Okay, so let's say Oye como va. Oye Santana como va. Okay, and then the subtitle, we're gonna put the artist, let's put Santa Ana. Santana. Beautiful, and then we're gonna write Oye, como va mi ritmo? Bueno, pa usar mulata. And then we're gonna select that like that. We're gonna copy it. We're going to go return and we're going to copy it right there. Paste. All right, so, so the first chord is an A minor. So I'm going to put my cursor right before the word Oye. And I'm going to, and I, and I'm going to call that music symbol right there, the, the eighth notes. And it's going to default to, to my chord. So I'm going to look for an A, usually the, it, that song goes, it's A minor, A minor 7, so we'll look for the A minor 7, it's in there somewhere, A minor 7, I'm going to insert it, boom, there it is, pare como va, pa, pa, mi ritmo, so before the mi, we're going to put a D, and the D, I believe is, let me see, it's a, uh, seven and nine so I'll go again look for the D that's a D7 let's see there's a D7 at nine already over here seven five you see they have just about everything seven sharp nine flat nine Nine. Well, you can you can make it if you don't have it. Well, seven nine and that pretty much tells you you can always go D. You can always edit it right there. Let's go seven at nine. Boom. What? Now, check this out. You don't have to look for the chord anymore. Right before bueno. You put it before bueno. It's already there at the bottom. You see, every time you use a chord, you'll keep collecting the chords you already used. So, bueno, pagos. Oye, como va? Mi ritmo, bueno, pagos. Mulata. Is that like 
that. There it is. We repeat it all over again. We really, we really could have just, oh, you can move back. We could have just pasted, copied it and pasted from above. But for the sake of this video, oops, I did not cover. And there it is. When I keep done, there it is. If you want to separate this, you can go back and edit it again. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Press the pencil to edit. I can put my cursor right there. Press return. Say done. There it is. If you want more separation with that, again, you can put your cursor there. Press a couple of returns done and that's a little bit clear and you can type more and more and more and the song's already there if you go down to the O there it is oh you can move on let's say that for some reason somebody wants to play it in a different key now you can now it's totally edible you can just go to the kind of like a mixer thing that looks like there change right here let's say E minor boom it changes all the chords E minor let's go back to A minor and this is pretty much how, how you do it uh, you can copy and paste a lot of times what I do is I'll just go and fetch the lyrics online and um, just paste them right there and then add the chords I can also Another thing that I like to do is uh, import a PDF. If you import a PDF, it'll look like um, like this. But you can't change the key of PDFs. But you know, that's pretty decent. Um, another great feature is that you can Go to all songs. Plus, you can go and look for a song in the internet that maybe somebody already has. So let's say that I want an Elton John song, right? I'm gonna put Elton John. I'm gonna search it. This comes out. Let's say Crocodile Rock. I'm gonna preview it. I, I press the little magnifying glass. So I go, okay. Let, let's say, yeah, I like it. I'm going to import it. It imports. I go to all my songs. And I go to C. And it should be somewhere. Or there it is. Crocodile Rock. Now let's say that that there's something. Um, let me try to read this. Show. So it's like. go and edit this very chart so like for instance I want to take away this this only use this for private blah 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 I'll edit that you know I'll take this verse one I don't need anybody to tell me that's verse one because that's pretty much self-explanatory look for any more unnecessary things um, whatever all, all this I, I don't think I need it but you get the idea I go done boom it's done and that's pretty much how you make um, a chart on 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 song it's it's an awesome program I highly recommend it. I do believe it's only like four bucks or five bucks or whatever. I I don't know if it has changed in price. I've I've used it from the beginning, so I mean, 
I like it. It has a lot of other features. You can display your lyrics on on a on a projector if you want with different backgrounds. Uh, let's see how that changes. If you have your iPad connected to a to a projector, it'll actually display the lyrics. So that's like amazing, you know, for, for church use or for a presentation or whatever. But I like to use just for I just put it in front of my keyboard and and play away. You can also use pedals. If you get like an air tone pedal, you can scroll it up and down so your chart moves. Or if you press the arrow down here. It'll move by itself. It should be moving by itself. You see, I didn't move it. That's moving. You know that red light, that red line on the left. It'll move to your timing that you display. I personally don't feel with that. I do have the air tune pedal. I already have all the pedals on my keyboards. So I get confused or whatever. I prefer just to. Um, Truly, I just prefer just to. Uh, I use I use my uh, right now. I have it on landscape mode. I use it on on portrait mode, and you know I just when I get through this, I just go like that with my finger, and boom, you know there it is. If I need to go back, and after you play the songs a few times, you learn them. You know, and you just have the chart for a. For kind of like a net, a, a cheat sheet, you know. So anyway, this is the way you make a chart on on a, on on song. If you go look for it again, it'll be. I'll go to the O. So here's the chart we made. What do you come about? Boom. Well, I think I had another Oh You Come About there. You see, this one is like the, the lyrics from Celia Cruz. She put lyrics to it. And uh, I didn't put any chords. I just put, you know, A minor 7 and D. Because, I mean, that's the whole song. You know, it doesn't do anything else. So, anyway, I hope this was helpful. Peace.